after President Trump gave the green light. This story, more than 50 years, as you know, in the making. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, is at the National Archives in Washington. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. At any moment, the National Archives just behind me is set to release those secret files for the first time surrounding the assassination of President Kennedy, a moment in American history that has fueled so much controversy and so many conspiracy theories. As you mentioned, it was more than 54 years ago when President Kennedy rolled through Dealey Plaza in that Lincoln Continental with the top down, making him a prime target that fueled so many of those conspiracy theories. So, the documents the documents we're set to get today are secret files that at one point the FBI and the CIA deemed too sensitive to release, but now they have to be released by law. So what could be so secret in those files? Well, experts we spoke to think they have to deal with the assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, and exactly what he was doing in Mexico City about seven weeks before the assassination when he visited both the Cuban and Russian embassies in that city. So why wouldn't they want these documents released? Well, it could be, what did those agents, what did those spies, what did those diplomats know? Did anyone down in Mexico know that Oswald wanted to kill Kennedy? Did they hear him say that? And if so, Robin, why didn't they share that information before the president's trip to Dallas? We're going to really want to know about that. You keep referring to all those conspiracy theories. So do you think we're going to learn anything from these documents being released? Robin, there are so many conspiracy theories from the second gunman in the grassy knoll to the involvement of the mafia to the Cuban government, even one about a, a black umbrella with poison that starts there in Dallas. Now, the experts we spoke to say they don't think any of the documents that are coming out, and we're expecting tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of documents to be released, will fuel those conspiracy theories or add to them. The National Archives has been very, very careful in their language not to get anyone too excited. Robin, get this, there are more than five million documents documents that make up that entire assassination record. Five million. Five million, you said, Tom. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but all but one percent have been refuted, reviewed by historians at some time or another, but to have them widely available like this will get a lot of excitement going. And it will. It will. May add to some of these conspiracy sure theories. We'll see. And we're going to go now to a possible plot.